Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, to, for you to enjoy until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Alright guys, well let's get started. So let's start with our little island here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a polygon cylinder and I'm going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in, set subdivision axes to um, 6, and we'll set caps to 0, and actually not 0, let's do 3, that will help us a little bit. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at a face, drag click these, face please, yeah, there we go. So we just have that top left, okay? We're going to go to object mode, we're going to go to modify and center pivot, we're going to hit W to move it down and hold on X so it will snap to the grid. We're gonna hit R to scale it up, like this. And then we're gonna make sure that we still have that vertex selected in the middle there, this guy. We're gonna hit the B on our keyboard, so we got this um, the orange and yellow area. And by holding down B and left clicking and dragging, you can make that impacted area bigger or smaller. So I'm gonna go with something like this. I'm gonna hit W to bring it up. So we kind of get this rounded island deal thing going on here. We're going to go to object mode, hit B to turn off the soft select, and go to mesh and smooth. So there you have it. There's our island. Okay, so now for the main body of the tree. Uh, and you can go smoother than that if you like. Okay, so for the main body, we'll take another polygon cylinder. We'll hit W, we'll pull it up. And let's pull it up a bit more. What we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to set the subdivision level to 6. Let's set uh, caps to... Uh, we'll leave that at 1. I'm just looking at whether we're going to have end guns or not. These are all triangles on top, which is fine. And I'll get rid of the ones at the bottom. We don't need those. Just to reduce our uh, poly count. Like that. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, drag click the bottom vertices, hit R and scale that in like this. And then I'm going to go in and let's do the edge here. Hit E and kind of rotate that in one direction. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to hit W, we're going to push it down like this. And then we're going to go in, we're going to control D to duplicate it. We'll hit W to move it up until it's one is inside the other. We're gonna hit E to rotate it, hold down J, one, two, snap it twice, okay? We're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times to repeat that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, depending on what you want. Let's say this is all right, one more. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of taper this because it looks way too uniform and straight, okay? So we're going to select that, we're going to deselect our island, we're going to go to Mesh and uh, Combine. Let's go to Edit, Delete by Type, History and Modify, Freeze, Transformations. There we go. And then we're going to go into Deform, we're going to go to Nonlinear and we're going to go to Flare. Now that creates a flare control there, which allows us to go into the Attribute Editor, go into the Flare tab. And we're going to address the uh, end flare in X and Z. So you can see that we can pull that out and push that in. So let's do 0 0.4 just to try and 0 0.4 here as well, which gives us this. Um, that could work. Okay. And then you have the option to uh, do a curve, but that will curve it in this direction. Now, just to keep it a bit comical, we'll do that a little bit. You don't want to go nuts on it, but maybe maybe something like this, just to make it look a bit more funny. All right, so happy with that. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select this guy and we're gonna bend it. So we're gonna to go to Edit, Delete by Type History to get rid of that control there, and then we're gonna select it and we're gonna to go to Deform again. We're gonna to go to Nonlinear and Bend. Let's see where our bend handle is at. It's uh, vertical, which is perfect. So we're gonna go to our bend tab and let's start to tweak that curvature. Now that's gonna curve the entire tree, which is kind of the idea here. But again, you have the option to 
tweak that low bound. If you want that to be more straight like this, you can do. But I'm going to do this and then rotate the whole thing. Okay. So I'm happy with this curvature. I'm going to select it. Let's go to edit, delete by type and history. So that is now gone. And we can go in. We can hit E to rotate the sky and kind of position our tree. Maybe something like this. You know, that will be kind of cool. Okay. Maybe the whole thing is a bit big. So let's just uh, scale it down a bit. Hit W, bring that down and bring that into our island. And normally when you see a, a photo of an island like this, it's going to be somewhere around here where you got this treasure chest going on or whatnot. Okay, so now that we have that, let's deal with our uh, canopy. Now for that, a bit more tricky. Let's select this and hit H to hide it. We're going to go in and we're going to take a polygon plane. Now with that polygon plane, we're going to go into the attribute editor again and let's set this to five by zero subdivisions. Okay, let's hit R and come on, let's hit R, stretch it out like so. And what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, manually shape a leaf. Okay, now these tend to have um, kind of cuts in the side, if you will. So uh, what we're going to do there is we are going to go in and go to uh, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple and set it to 1. So it's going to be created perfectly in the middle. And I'll turn off my grid so you can see it. There you go. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go in to, uh, let's see, Edge Mode. And I'm just going to take these guys. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm going to right click the vertex and I'm going to drag click these. Hit R and push them together like so. Do the same here. Same here. And same here. Now with that in place, I can now go in, take these faces. and delete them. Looks like I deleted a little bit too much. Hang on. Yeah, of course I did, which is not good. So we are going to take this middle edge here, double click on it, go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. We're going to bring that fraction down. Let's do 0 0.05, which is better. And now we can go in, take these guys and delete them. Alrighty, much better. Now that we have that, we're going to go in and shape our leaf a little bit. So we're going to right click the vertex and I'm going to drag select these guys. I'm going to hit R and I'm going to start to push them together until we've got something looking like a leaf. Let's take these. Let's bring that in like so. We'll take this, bring it in like so. You get the idea, right? Now this is going to be my endpoint here, so let's work towards that. I think it looks alright. Good, good. And let's see, it's time to give it some thickness and to bend it. Thickness because we started off with a plane, and if I hit have to frame it, if we flip it over, it's going to be black, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. And let's do 0 0.03, which will give it some thickness. That's a bit much, maybe. 0 0.01, that's good enough. Okay. Now, uh, we need to bend this. So we're going to go to uh, object mode. We're going to go to uh, deform, nonlinear, bend once again. Hit E to rotate our bend handle, flip it over like so. Let's make sure that the bend direction is correct. We're going to tweak the curvature. There you go. Again, we have the option for the high and low bound. So you can tweak it like this, or you can tweak it like this. Let's do something like so. Select it, go to edit, delete by type and history. So it's gone. This looks uh, fine. 
and then I want to curve it again. So I'm going to go to deform nonlinear and bend once again. This time I'm going to hit uh, E to rotate, hold on J, and flip it in this direction. And let's again see if our curvature is facing correctly. You can see it's not. This is not what I want. So I'm going to hit Control Z. I want that bend handle to flip over like this. And it's hard to see if it's rotating or not. So this is going to be set to 90. Now let's have a look. Okay, there you go. So that's kind of the effect that I wanted to go with. You can either push this up like so, or push it down like so. Now this would be more realistic to push it down. So that's what I want. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to uh, edit, delete by type and history. So that's now gone. We're going to jump to our top view. I'm going to go to uh, display and grid to turn my grid back on. Hit W to move this over here. I'm going to hit the insert key or you can hold down D. That's the same effect. And then I'm going to move my pivot point and I'm going to hold down X so it will snap to the center of the grid. Um, control D, E to rotate, hold on J. We'll do this instead, okay? Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. There you go. So we have all of this. We're going to drag select it. We're going to go to, uh, let's see, mesh and combine. Let's go to modify and center pivot, which is kind of important. Because if we now go to display and show all, we'll have our island, we'll have our uh, the main body there. And then we can now hit W, move that up and get it into proportion. So we're gonna hit R to scale it up like this. And we're gonna move it to the top of our tree here. And then from that point, you can rotate it kind of depending on how you want it. And maybe it's a bit big, so let's bring it down a bit. So let's see what we got. Well, there you have it. There's our island with our palm tree, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.